Hey everyone, so I'm here at Mostro Convenio 2024 in Milan, which is, you know, basically the second biggest natural refrigerants party, sorry, trade show on earth after Chilventa. Okay, and I, I've had the chance this morning to walk around and see some of the new products out there, and I think it's pretty safe to say that propane has taken over. Um, I've seen quite a lot of different manufacturers that just a couple of years ago did not have chillers and heat pumps with propane available. Now everyone has them. Um, or at least they're on for show and their products, they're listed and so on. So they're for sale. Uh, but right now, I'd like to talk with Alex Ai, who's the CEO of Refra. Refra recently Atmo approved. Okay, and we're really happy to have them join the family of uh, best-in-class manufacturers working with natural refrigerants. And why I want to have this little video, because, you know, I've done a few already with Alex Ai, but this one in particular is less about Refra. Well, it's, it is about Refra and how Refra to play an active role in the market, partners up with different suppliers and test some new innovative solutions to help improve the efficiency of their systems. Right, right behind us, we've got a, a propane heat pump, right? Yep. Yeah. The biggest so, one from our... The biggest one you got from your range. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, and, and so in this kind of partnership that they've done exclusively with certain key suppliers, they're always looking at trying to improve the performance, right? So now we're going to learn about a magnetic valve which I've never seen before. Magnetic that... expansion valve. Thank you, magnetic <laughs> expansion valve, okay? So we're gonna learn a little bit more about that from Alex I, okay? And the benefits of that. So, uh, as we spoke earlier, uh, we have the, most probably the only ones on this exhibition, this magnificent uh, Siemens MVL 702. Okay, so let's see what actually this looks like. We have to bend down here. So what is this? Point out, point uh, out, yeah. so, so. Uh, basically, for the guys who know valve the, here, right? Yes. It's expansion valve here. Basically, for the guys who know MBL six series, the valve was this kind of big. Okay, so it's and a lot it was smaller. a problem of fixing it and so on. Okay. So Siemens uh, came up with idea. So this is Siemens. Siemens, the famous Siemens, the well-known yes. Siemens group, right? Yes. So this is a new product in the, from Siemens. It will be, and uh, most probably they will announce about this product uh, and release it officially in a few months. Okay, great. We're expecting it end of April, uh, start of May. All right, and you've been testing this, right, on your system? We were testing it on our heat pumps. Uh, the, the target of the test was to get uh, the highest efficient efficiency possible from the propane heat pump because it's not... Uh, Everybody now, as you said, uh, offering the propane machines. Yes, yeah, yeah. But the next step is also to save the electricity. Sure. So uh, it was about improving the performance. Yes. Using these propane heat pumps now for these propane heat pumps. So what 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 are the what are the efficiency gains that you've been getting on this particular unit? Uh, this? Not on this particular unit, but on the test unit we had. Okay. It is a bit smaller, uh, which has two circuits. Okay. Each circuit by thirty kilowatts. Okay. And one circuit was running on the. A normal stepper motor electronic expansion valve. Yeah. And number one was on this kind of valve. So we had a difference in efficiency during the winter period of 16%. One six, 16%. Yes. 16. 16. That's huge. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a game changer. Yeah, but uh, if you would look at the charts, they show how exact we control the superheat. And on the reliability here, do you think there's an improvement there? Oh, uh, the reliability. Why, why, why will it be better, more reliable? Just tell us the technology behind this. Look, this is the magnet, ma magnetic valve. You don't need to have any super caps to close it. If you uh, turn off the electricity for the magnetic valve, it also has the sprinkle to close tightly the valve. That means that uh, this valve will also save the compressor in some kind of emergency um, okay. operations. Okay, okay. What else? Uh, what else? Mainly, this is about the controls. So, as good you can control superheat, yeah. everybody knows that you have the safety of the compressor yeah. within the superheat and also the efficiency. Yeah. Efficiency is the main part. If you can not flow plus two, three Kelvin difference, yeah. what we have with this valve of 0 0.1, 0 0.2 Kelvin difference on the controlling, so we can set lower, uh, uh, I'd say, lower superheat values okay let's say normally we're using like seven kelvin yeah yeah with this uh, valve we can get as close as possible to 5k 
wow. to use only the useful superheat. So do you think this could become your standard part of it your will. standard range? For sure, it will. Uh, as soon as Siemens announced about this product, yeah. uh, it becomes our standard. Wow. Okay, so that's a huge step up in performance yes. that you're bringing to the market already this year. Uh, yes, uh, we should uh, start to produce these machines based, okay, based on the uh, timeline of Siemens, yeah. uh, but we should get the first valves in June. Great. So right. from the June, it will come our standard. So Siemens better deliver. <laughs> we hope okay. so. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, thank you. So that's what it looks like closer. All right, it's very small, actually. It's a lot smaller than the standard one. Yep. All right. Okay. And if you so explain here. Explain so you can see the same machine as I told, uh, 30 kilowatts each circuit. One is working on the normal ex uh, electronic stepper motor expansion valve. Yep. So you can see this chart. Yep. This is this is already a very good uh, operation. This, this is, is the amber the, uh, one, right? This one here? Yeah, the orange one. The orange one. Yeah, the yep. orange one okay, is okay. the su superheat value. So we already control it quite well. I need to and now we see the same chart from the same machine but another circuit. Okay. And this circuit is equipped with MVL702. And you can see the same orange line, Wow! how it runs. Wow, that's completely so different. You, you can see that we are going, we are freezing up on the air-cooled heat exchanger, eh? yeah. but the superheat, it's flat. flat. Wow, okay. And that that is basically translated that is where you can see the energy performance difference. Yeah, right? so this is you, as a lot smoother to run. As much as possible, we are going to the theoretical values. Yeah. What yeah. you can calculate, yeah. that means you are getting the same value on your machine. Wow. All right. Great. Thank you.